there! I'm Sarah A. Chrisman, the author of The Tales of Chetsamoka and other books about the Victorian era. A few weeks ago, I made a video about chatelains, and at the time, my husband was working on a chatelain belt for me. As you can see, it's finished now, and today I'm going to share some footage with you of him making it. My husband Gabriel recently started making reproductions of 1890s safety bicycles, and when he set up his shop he asked me if, while he was already doing complicated things with metal, there might be anything I'd like him to make for me. I've long been quite enamored of my chatelaine as an at-home ladies' toolkit, but I haven't wanted to wear it out of the house for fear of losing or breaking part of it. Besides that, although adding splitter rings would theoretically allow me to add any number of tools, Past a certain point, the collection gets too heavy for a single little clip. With this, as with so many other things, the Victorians had a perfect solution. When Gabriel asked if there was anything I'd like him to make for me, I showed him a picture of a chatelaine belt and asked if he could copy it. Also called Norwegian belts, chatelaine belts already had a long and healthy tradition in Scandinavian countries when British travelers fell in love with them in the 1870s. Like chatelaines, Chatelaine belts are a very convenient way to carry tools and accessories by hanging them from the waist. Belts can hold significantly more weight than simple clips, which not only widens the possibilities for the tools one can carry this way, but it also means that the chains holding them can be stronger and less likely to break. Chatelaine belts were the ultimate Victorian hands-free device. Queen Victoria's royal, royal jeweler specialized in chatelaine belts, and the fond regard in which Alexandra, Princess of Wales, held hers made them extremely fashionable and popular in the latter half of the Victorian era. Unfortunately, very few antique chatelaine belts survive today, so I'm very lucky to have such a handy husband to make one for me. Incidentally, he is selling them on the same website where he sells his 1890s style bikes, so if you're looking for a chatelaine belt of your very own, you can find them at victoriancycles.com. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a nice thumbs up and check out my hus husband's website, victoriancycles.com. He sells chatelaine belts. 
he also makes bikes. Hope you'll check it out. Happy reading and happy cycling.